A young man has been shot dead in this township in Cape Town, another victim in battles between rival gangs. As usual, police rush to the scene and bystanders are left struggling to cope with the constant stress caused by gang violence. I immediately get up from my bed and get under my bed because that's how freaked out I am. I think for many of us, we don't know what peace is. We don't know what harmony is. We've grown up with violence all our lives. The township has one of the highest gang-related murder rates in South Africa. Locals fear for their lives when walking the streets, with more than 50 people caught in the crossfire in the past four months. High unemployment and widespread social problems lead many residents to find work with the gangs. There's a lot of what seems to be cooperation between the community and the gangs not because people want to, but because people's circumstances force them to cooperate with the gangs for their own survival. The lucrative drug trade and other criminal activities mean that gangs have mushroomed and become more heavily armed. Police battle to suppress turf wars and reprisal attacks. So much so that the provincial government is considering calling for the deployment of the army. If soldiers are brought in not as soldiers, but in terms of Section 30 of the Defence Act, as force multipliers for the police, that will give us the numbers and the visibility that we require. And that makes an enormous difference. Soldiers were previously deployed to these townships in 2015. But two years later, gang membership in the area has soared. And some believe that the only long-term solution would be major social and economic change.